your wrestling is now more exposed, bigger platform. What is the reality like of your training? Did you ramp it up for second series? Oh, we definitely ramped it up. We basically started our training for season two where we left off shooting season one. I had to go back and watch like, the final episode of last year before we started training just to remind myself and I was overwhelmed at how cool our moves are. I was like, oh, yes. yeah. Yeah, when you're in it and shooting, you know, you kind of have this adrenaline courage, like you can do Still anything. Invincible. When yeah. we're not shooting and I watch wrestling, I'm like, ow, ow, ow. To I get don't back wanna... in that yes. fearless mindset. Yeah. But the pleasant surprise was that I would say two days into wrestling training for yeah, season back, two, yeah. we were like, oh yeah, my body remembers. Were there any injuries for series two? Not major injuries, it minor just, concussion. <laughs> <laughs> it just feels like a uh, hundred fender benders. Like, like you're, you fell down the stairs drunkenly. That's what wrestling feels like. Again, the adrenaline is really on your side. So in the moment doing it, and I think also we all are so proud to be able to do the moves ourselves. And as actors, we want to stay and we love getting into that character. You have so much adrenaline, especially now that we're able to have an audience all the time for the wrestling matches. Last season, it was a lot of us in the training gym doing matches to no one. So you have no <laughs> energy to feed off of. Yes. So the, the adrenaline is so high, you feel nothing until the next day and the day after that and like that week that whole week is basically a wash where you're like I've been through something yes <laughs> and what was your training routine like for the show they don't ask us to do any particular exercise we really but just learn the moves wrong. they are I wrong I mean <laughs> Betty and I do strength training on our own to be I feel like you really do want strength and flexibility are your friends when you're wrestling but otherwise we do three hours a day five days a week with all of the women on the show in the ring with Chavo Guerrero Jr., our trainer, and Shauna Duggins, our stunt coordinator, and Helena Barrett, our other stunt woman. People hear three hours a day, five days a week, and it sounds like a lot more than it feels like right. because a lot of that time is spent watching each other do moves. We take a lot of breaks where we go one at a time and can work out a move, and that stuff can actually be more helpful some of the time mm -hmm. because you're kind of like, figuring out, what am I doing wrong? Oh, she's lifting her leg like this. Yes. Like sometimes it's helpful for us to tell each other what helps. And also sometimes very annoying. You have 12 other people going, yeah. here's what you're, you're like, doing I wrong. I got it, I got it, <laughs> yeah. And what was your biggest challenge in the training? Like what did you find most difficult for learning? Strangely, it feels like a very vulnerable process. Kind of yeah. your problem in the ring is maybe your problem in life. Like mm. I would have, very low confidence and think, oh, I, I can't do this, I can't do this, and then be able to do it, uh, mm -hmm. or or b be really hard on myself. Um, so it mm -hmm. kind of feels like uh, literally physical therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, I think that the general fearlessness was the hardest thing to rediscover for season two, because going into season one, I was just so excited. We all, everyone came with such an open mind, I think, for season one. All the girls were so excited to learn this new skill. And we had no expectations for ourselves, just like a lot of passion and eagerness. There's no saying no. We've signed on to do this wrestling show. Yeah. So when they'd show us a crazy move, we'd just be like, all right, let's do it. Great. And that instinct was very new. So to then take six months off and come back to, to feel that feeling again, you were like, oh God, we just jumped right into doing that last year? I'm a little afraid of it. Right. And then remembering to not be afraid, you know how to do this kind of stuff again. Yeah, to trust yourself was sort of the most difficult thing. What was your funniest or most memorable moment from shooting the series? In season oh. two, we shoot absolutely our silliest episode to date. <laughs> I get to wear a wig for part of it. Mm -hmm. I act with a goat. <laughs> there's a goat. Oh, there's a live goat on the show. Uh, that that was pretty funny. Yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> yes. Things that are the funniest and the hardest for me are the scenes where you're Zoya and I have to be Debbie, kind of rolling my eyes and disapproving, and I can't laugh at what you're doing as Zoya when I am crying and dying inside. Any scene where we're all, we're all together, the group of us is overwhelming. It's crazy. Uh, many of our directors are like that's enough, you know, <laughs> yes. because we just get so silly and laugh so much. It's like, thank God we have the Ruth and Debbie relationship sometimes where we'll be shooting scenes because I watch episodes later and see what all the other women are doing around us. <laughs> yes. And I'm like, thank like, God we're so da, da, da. insulated yeah, yeah. yeah, in this mini drama that I'm not, otherwise I would be so distracted and just like laughing constantly.